Everybody. My name is Lily and I'm one of the Child Life Volunteers and today I'm going to be teaching all of you guys how to draw some of your favorite household pets. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by telling you what the different animals we're going to be learning how to draw are. We're going to be learning five animals in total, how to draw a cat, how to draw a dog, a hamster, a bunny, and a bird. When drawing animals, I find the easiest way that works for me is to break them down into their simplest shapes. Let's start off by drawing the cat. For a cat, we're going to start off by drawing a kind of circle oval for the head, because a cat's head is usually pretty round. We can continue by adding two triangles on the top, and these are going to become its ears. I like to draw the inner portion of the ear by just making a smaller version of that triangle. When we start drawing the face, I like to start with the center of the face, specifically the nose, and we're just gonna draw a little upside down triangle where the flat side's on the top and the pointy side's on the bottom. Then to continue making its mouth, I'm going to make a U with one corner starting in the middle of that triangle, and I'm just gonna make another U on the other side as well. For the eyes, the easiest type of eyes I like to draw are where you just make a curve, kind of like an upside down U. You're gonna make two of them for the two eyes and then you're gonna just draw a little black filled in circle to make the eyes itself. If you would like, you can also add eyelashes in the corner of the eyes, but that's not a necessary step. I'm gonna draw the body of the cat. For this cat, I'm gonna make it sitting down and I'm gonna start off by drawing where it's gonna be sitting. And notice how I just drew a really light colored circle kind of right here. That means that I'm not gonna have the full circle in the drawing, but it kind of helps me determine where different things are gonna be located. This is gonna be where the cat's sitting down. Over here, I'm gonna start to draw its front paws. And I'm just gonna draw two kind of really long U's in order to do that or the start of two really long U's at least. And then I like to draw the puppy part of the cat in the front. These are gonna be its front two paws. And then I'm gonna draw the rest of the cat, how it's sitting. And usually cats, when they sit, their back paws kind of fold along the ground. So it's gonna be kind of more like a flat line. Then we can just draw kind of a squiggly S-like shape and then just round the tip of it and continue it backwards to make the tail. And the best way to make something look like a cat is of course by drawing the whiskers. I like to do a long line, a short line, a long line, a long line, a short line, a long line. And that's how we drew our first animal, a cat. The next animal I'm gonna show you how to draw is a dog. Now dog, you start off in a step really similar to the cat where you draw a circle for the head, but this is also gonna be a lighter circle because we're not gonna have every single part of it visible. A dog's ha uh, head is a little bit longer than the cat's head. So I'm gonna start off by drawing a snout. I'm gonna start from kind of like the middle of the top half of the circle and draw a little curve that extends. And then we're gonna kind of make a rounded corner, kind of like you're drawing a rectangle right here, but the corners are gonna be round. So this is gonna be where the dog's nose is. So I'm just gonna fill in that spot to indicate that's its nose. And I can continue with the mouth. And we're just gonna connect that to the edge of the circle that we made earlier. So remember, a dog's head is kind of made up of a circle and a rounded rectangle. Then I'm gonna just kind of draw a little happy dog. And I'm gonna do that by giving it a smile, which is just a slight curve right there. I'm going to add the eye by making that U and adding the little round circle and doing the same thing on the other side. And then for a dog's ears, I'm gonna make this one a little bit floppy, like floppy ear dog. You can think about it as another triangle kind of going in that direction and that direction. But once again, we kind of want to make the shapes a bit softer and rounded around the different edges. Next, we're going to draw the body of the dog. 
And once again, I'm gonna start off by drawing two circles to kind of show where I want it to be. And for the dog, I've decided I wanna make it draw expanded up. So in the second circle, the farther away circle, I'm just gonna follow that top curve and then draw a straight line that connects the body to the head, like that. And then I'm gonna draw a straight line going down from the circle and that's gonna become its first foot. And for little paws, I just like to draw a little rounded kind of U-shape at the bottom, extend a straight line up, and then I can draw the tummy, which is just gonna be a flat line along the bottom, and draw the front paws in the same way I drew the back paw. So the reason why I drew these two paws first is they're closer to us, so we're gonna see them more clearly. Now I'm gonna draw the back paws, or the ones that are farther away from us. It's gonna be the exact same step. And for the dog's tail, I'm gonna draw a little straight curved line and I'm gonna make it pointy at the tip as opposed to round like with the cat. Next, I can draw a little couple of lines on the paws to show that they have toes. And the next part of it is that's basically how you draw a dog, but you can also do some things to decorate the dog, such as drawing little patches on the dog where maybe it has more colored fur, but it's all up to you and how you want to draw your dog. Next up, we're gonna draw a hamster. And with a hamster, it's very similar to how we started off once again. We're gonna start by making a circle in the head. And this circle, is gonna be made of more circles because when I think of a hamster, I think of really round puffy cheeks, right? So we're just gonna add two round circles in the lower half of the circle and the outside of all of these circles is gonna be what makes up the head. So this is from the original circle. This is from the second circle, the third circle. And that's the beginning of our hamster's head with really puffy cheeks. Next, I'm gonna kind of draw a little V in the middle to make its nose. I'm gonna make the mouth the same way I made the cat's mouth. And then I'm gonna draw two eyes. Next, we're gonna draw the really big round ears for the hamster. And you wanna make these ears really big, basically as big as the cheeks. And then I'm gonna draw a little mini circle on the inside just to give it a little bit more detail. And then finally, we're gonna draw the body. I'm gonna draw this body, this hamster standing up. So we're gonna draw another kind of circle shape, follow the outside curves of them. And then for its feet, they're very short compared to the cat and the dog. So I'm just gonna draw two little nubs like here that it's standing on. And for its hands, two little U's on the inside. So it's kind of like putting it in front of its body. And that's how you can draw a hamster. For the bunny, we're gonna start off with another circle. And then I kind of think of a bunny in the same way that I think of a hamster has really chubby cheeks. So I'm gonna start off by drawing two more circles to give it chubby cheeks. Kind of the same step as when I was drawing the hamster, but just slightly less round than the hamster's cheeks. Next, I'm gonna give a bunny its signature ears. And these ears are just gonna be really long and they're gonna be more round at the top and more narrow at the base over here. I'm gonna draw an inner ear for this. And I like to give my bunnies kind of a floppy ear. And the way I do that is I just kind of start by making the end of the ear, the rounder part, and just connect it to where I want it to connect. So that's how I draw the bunny's head. Then for its nose, same thing, just kind of make like a V shape in the middle. The mouth, give it some buck teeth because bunnies have their very short front teeth and then give it two eyes. I'm also gonna draw the bunny with its hands and paws in front of it. So the way I'm gonna do that is start off with a circle for the body. I'm gonna draw the legs the same way where the bottom is flat and then I give it two legs. These are gonna be slightly longer than the hamsters because the bunny's bigger. Then for its paws, I'm gonna draw two ovals in the middle. So that's its hands kind of going like this. And then these two lines in the middle of the paws kind of separate its fingers from one another. Next, I'm just gonna give it some arms that connect to the paws. 
get uh, connect the rest of its body to its legs. And then give it a bit of a belly by just giving and drawing on oval in this middle. That's how I draw my bunny. And if you want, you can give it a really puffy tail in the back as well. Finally, how to draw a bird. As always, we're gonna start off with a circle for the head. Then we're gonna draw a triangle for its beak this time. I'm going to draw on the eye right now, just because I feel like that shows its face really well. And then birds have a lot of feathers, right? Whenever I draw feathers, and I don't wanna make it too detailed, what I do is I just kind of give it a flick and a flourish. So, boop, and then a little curve. And then I keep doing that as many times as I want, kind of give it its little feathers on the top of its head. For its body, I'm gonna draw another big circle. I'm gonna follow the front of that circle, but we can't forget the wings of the bird, right? So within that circle along the backside, you're gonna make a long oval. And the end of the oval is gonna be a bit pointier than the top of it. These will be its wings. And then we can add lines along the wings to signify that it's made up of a lot of different feathers. When drawing the feet of a bird, it's really easy. All you have to do is kind of draw some lines and then three prongs coming out of that lines. And I like to kind of draw my birds standing on a stick, like they're perched up on something. So that's what I'm adding right now. And that's how you draw all your different animals.